So this morning we're heading out to Green Lake. We're gonna be doing some layout boat diver hunting. Um, got a really perfect wind coming from the northeast this morning, so really excited. We got a lot of birds working. Uh, we've been scouting out here for the past week now, and a lot of bags of birds just being filled. So we're really ready for this hunt. It's gonna be a great time, and as long as the weather stays good and wind stays up, we'll have a good hunt. So with these, what we're going to do is we'll have a decoy that's tied to the back of it. We've got an extra line. This will get tied onto the anchor line. We'll slide or we'll toss the anchor in. Then we'll just slide the layout boat off of the John boat. Layout boat will take itself to where we want it. Then same with the other one. When we go to get in, we'll just pull up right next or right alongside it step in nice and easy then from there you just gotta lay as low as you possibly can so the DNR has it set up where certain lakes are open for open water hunting Green Lake is one of them your Great Lakes are the other ones there's a handful that you can actually lay out hunt but so few people do it because it does get taxing you're just looking a foot or two above the water and just seeing birds coming straight at you. And then when you get to sit up and it's like hunting out of a layout blind in a field. You know, you get to watch the birds fly in right at you. And then you get out on the lake, you get to sit up and you get to shoot ducks. And unique ducks. You can shoot a lot more rarer birds layout hunting than you can like hunting a pond or a marsh uh, we're going for some divers out here this morning should be pretty good pretty good variety based on the scouting reports i've heard so to be completely honest we don't really know what we're gonna see we're getting reports all week bluebills buffle heads some golden eye heard a couple people the other day were out there seeing scoters canvas backs and long tails so should be a pretty good morning a lot of potential tax and rebuild might get a little expensive but hey that's part of the fun Just ice. So what we have going on here is we have these two single man layout boats. We got a UFO and I can't remember the name of the other one. But essentially we're gonna drop these off. We drop anchors off the back and then we slowly pull away. And as we pull away, we drop the second anchor. Then we just will essentially line up decoys going right along up to the front of them. So it acts like a runway coming into the airport. So what draws me to diver hunting is honestly just the different variety it gives you. It's like Derek was saying, there's a lot of species of ducks that you 
don't really see a lot when you're hunting puddlers. So it gives you that whole new opportunity to see new species, see how they work, what they look like, how they fly. And then just honestly the challenge of it. As soon as you shoot them, it's not like a puddler where they can only go down a couple inches under the water. They can, to some of them can dive up to 300 feet. So your shots have to be on point. You crip blood duck, you have to make sure you're cleaning up right away. It's fast paced, it's chaotic, but it's super fun. They definitely don't look natural because you know, no straight lines in nature, but when they're coming in three feet off the water, it just looks like a big old raft of divers out here. So basically we're throwing broken bill buffle heads. Uh, they've all been hand poured, hand painted right here in Green Lake. Basically buddy's business. I got to meet my buddy, freshman, his freshman year of college. Started hunting together a lot and then started building the diver spread up. Uh, we also got some old herders out here, which have been around forever, and they've seen plenty of blue nose shot over them. But long lines are the way to go around here. Grab my, grab my herders. <laughs> we got, we got shells. They're stable. No, they're, yeah, they're you can stand up and it's, it's probably more stable than you do. Really? Yeah. Stay low. Just you, get too, you get too high and then it, that's when it'll get unstable. Ben. Yeah, we got two of them. Ben, yeah. if you just want to drive that way until you get to shallow water. Gotcha. Derek, you want your gloves today? No, I'm good. You got your walk. You got the walkie? They're in my blind bag, so I would need one in this boat. Herder's bag on top. Close. It was a little weird for me because normally hunting with these guys, we're all in a marsh, we're all talking. So it felt a little more almost isolated being in that layout boat. But then at the same time, just knowing that, you know, if, we sh if I shoot a duck, they're coming over right away or like everyone in the boat just getting super excited hearing Ben go duck down and untying the boat, just ripping over there, making sure that we can get his duck, get it in the boat because we don't want to lose ducks. And that also ended up being Ben's first gold knife. So just being able to be the one that netted that, like it's a gold nine to see that smile on his face was absolutely awesome. We have a juvenile Drake gold knife here. Uh, birds were not working how we wanted them to this morning. So we took what we got. Basically, yeah, first gold knife. So this morning uh, we went out here on Green Lake and unfortunately the wind just was not in our favor. We got out there expecting 15 mile per hour winds and it was just dead calm, glass on the water and that's just not ideal for divers. So, you know, we got one duck this morning. Uh, it's unfortunate, wish we had a lot more, but still just the first morning. So we still have a couple more days of hunting and we'll see how we do as we go along.